Hi everybody, it's Laura from Balbriggan Library. I hope you're all well today. We have a really nice story, When a Dragon Comes to Stay. And this is all about good manners for little dragons. And maybe little people too. It's full of great hints and tips. So, when a dragon comes to stay, she's going to visit these two children. How nice. Imagine a dragon turning up on your doorstep. When a dragon comes to stay, does she go roar and shout my way? And does she snatch and keep the toys away from other girls and boys? No! Dragons don't do that. A dragon knows she must play fair and wait her turn and always share. She knows the rules of all the games and never argues or complains. When she's the last to have a go, that's just how dragons are, you know. When playing games of hide and seek, a dragon knows she must not peek. She counts out loud to 21, then calls out, ready, here I come. She never finds you straight away, that's just the way that dragons play. At dinner, does a dragon slur? Or throw her food, or moan, or burp? And does she spill food on the floor? Or bang her spoon, or bellow more? I don't think so. Why, no. Dragons don't do that. A dragon smiles and sips her tea and eats her sandwich daintily. She says the lettuce tastes just right and never ever gets a fright at anything that's on her plate. Yes, dragons really are that great. Wow, they're just fabulous, aren't they? And when she's finished all her food, a dragon is polite, not rude. She takes her empty plate and cup and sometimes even washes up. Dragons are helpful as can be. It's just a dragon's way, you see. And when the day is nearly done and we are tired from having fun, do little dragons wail and moan or fluff their dragon wings and groan? I bet you know the answer to that one. Why no, dragons don't do that. She skips upstairs to have a bath. Big bubbles make this dragon laugh. She scrubs her dragon scales and wings. All oh, dragons love to do these things. Well now that looks like fun, doesn't it? This is important. She puts some toothpaste on her brush. Then cleans her teeth. She doesn't rush. Even more important, she folds her wings up nice and neat and pulls some bed socks on her feet. She doesn't make a fuss or frown, while dragons like to snuggle down. We all like to snuggle down, don't we? I bet you do. Then, when it's time to go to bed, does this small dragon shake her head? Does this tired darling cry or pout or throw her favourite toys about? I think we all know the answer to this one. Why no, dragons don't do that. But if she's overtired or sad, that's when a dragon might turn bad. Then you must wrap her in a hug and make her cosy safe and snug and sing a gentle dragon song Dragon won't stay sad for long. So pull those cosy covers tight and help her sleep all through the night. She will not whine, she won't be roary. Our dragons love a bedtime story. She listen very carefully. How lovely can a dragon be? <gasps> Look at all those sleepy sets. And if her snores keep us awake, and if they make the windows shake, and if they rumble through the wall, well, she is a dragon after all. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you again soon. Bye.